take out of a natural shape. At this heightened state, are we any less volatile? At this processed state, are we any more valuable? We feel our value as processed, a separation into categories defined by boiling point. Some of us are combustible standing up. All burn oils. All oils burn. All witches burn. All women burn. You've been burning for years. I still haven't learned how to resolve you, how to put you out. What I cannot solve, everything I think about is water, and yet our foundations are still aflame. There's grease in the corners of our reservoirs, contaminating the health of you and me. Very heavy components, which are unable to boil, will leap from the bottom of the column in a stream known as residue. What we initially thought was left behind. Something sticky, tracing our movements. Some might call it a disorder. Some might call it muscle memory. Some might call it what's eating at our joints. Some might call it what's preventing their resting over. What does it mean to make a permanent mark? When I think of oil, I think of underground, of what the earth supplies, but what was perhaps never meant to be removed, of extracting the viscous material beneath, of repurposing what exists in dark form, of a burning stench, of invisible rivers, of not mixing with water, of harboring grease, of drawing from veins, of economical violence, of dangerous coatings. When I think of you, I think of our stream of residue flooding the floor. It marks us, inks beneath our heels. I feel as though we've dug too far, that we've yet to recover anything of substance. How did we, once collaborative, become entangled in this dichotomy? You and I become oil and water seeping. Am I talking about you or my partner? Am I talking about you or my sister? Am I talking about you or my poverty? Am I talking about you or our history of patriarchy? Am I talking about you or our modern generation? Traces of stinking residue, Oil burned. I baked you a tenderloin and scraped the burned Dijon away. A fire without flames. We diffuse the oil through water, scented as herbs. A healing remedy, you say, to come in through our nostrils and fix what's inside. I want to relax, to melt, to diffuse in the water. I want the rosemary or peppermint or a sunshine mix or whatever to keep me calm, to mirror the example of the water and oil working collaboratively. But in reality, they hit the air and go their separate ways. What does it mean to be flammable and slippery? A substance that cannot stay put a substance that is explosive, unpredictable. We become wary around such things, such ideas, try to avoid the presence of historical pain, try to avoid our tics that are developing in ways we classify as other, our trickiness. Trickiness makes me uncomfortable. You cannot hold a liquid in your hands, keep anything clear from leaking free. I cannot hold a fire, grasp it firm, shake out the truth. Does being flammable give you an excuse? I feel badly for any fuel I might supply. I'm only jealous of your burning. Sometimes I don't find you volatile. Sometimes I don't find you dramatic, expensive, or crude. 
Sometimes I find other names for you. When the viscous residue mysteriously evaporates, when I see you coming and I smell coconuts, nutritious oil extracted and the coconut hair, coconut joints, coconut fingers. On days the surface thickens, oil streams run in collaboration with water, clean as a coconut. The days you melt clear and hard and bright. Thank you.